Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome. I'm super glad to have you here. My name is Jessica and I make videos on luxury goods and fashions in the pre-loved market, so this video is right in line with that. This video is going to talk about five different categories of items and I'll show you some examples from each that I think are a great place to start your luxury collection. I started collecting luxury goods or buying and using luxury goods about two years ago so I feel like I have a good idea of which were sort of the best pieces to start with and I picked based on two different categories. So the first is buying something that that one or maybe two items really makes your entire outfit look luxurious. So that's the first one. And the second one is buying classics. So items that are classic, neutral, you can wear them again and again and again for many, many years to come so that your cost per wear is really quite minimal and it makes it a lot easier to sort of justify the costs. And also then if you go to sell it, it's something that you'll likely be able to make a good profit for on the pre-loved market. So it's probably a better idea of uh, an investment in terms of those kind of pieces. If you wear it into the ground and you can't sell it for much on the pre-loved market, at least your cost per wear will be very, very minimal. So those are the two different categories that I picked, uh, or the two different like rules, I guess, about the categories that I picked and what items I'm choosing to show you in those categories. But let's get started with these five different categories and some of my personal examples for each. So the first category is an SLG, or a small leather good something that you can use for multiple reasons, you kind of keep in every bag, that sort of thing. So I have a couple different examples. If you've watched my channel, you've seen these all before. This is the Double Gancio wallet, zip around wallet by Ferragamo. This is a great wallet if you want a big wallet. Wallets are a great SLG, you're gonna use them pretty much every day in every bag, and they're a great investment piece to get that cost per wear, plus they can be quite classic. Something like this is a, is a classic, is something that, a lot of people will buy on the pre-loved market. Uh, you won't you won't go for nearly the kind of money that you spend on it, especially if you wear it a lot and use it, but it is really wonderful. I'm actually selling this one right now. Another, these are all Ferragamo. <laughs> They're all sort of in the same collection. This one is a card case, so if you have a lot of business cards, this is something when you pull this out, it looks really classy, it's beautiful, and this could be a really great piece for an SLG as well, especially if you're someone who does a lot of lunches or a lot of networking, this would be a nice item to be able to use all the time. And then the last one is my favorite one, <laughs> which is the Double Gancio key case. My keys are inside of here. It's also got a little slip pocket back here. I have a dry cleaning receipt, so I don't lose it. Uh, but you can also put cards or anything else. So this is an SLG that I use every time I leave the house and absolutely adore. So these are some of the SLGs you can use. Smaller wallets would work too. Passport holders if you travel all of the time. Those kinds of small leather goods, even like a little makeup purse or makeup pouch or just a pouch for receipts, whatever it is that fits in your lifestyle, these kinds of things are an excellent way to start your collection. Every time you use them, they'll feel really special and you use them all the time. The second category I want to bring up is a belt. So right now, belts are super duper in fashion. People are loving the new Gucci belt, the new double G design in the gold. And then Hermes belts have always been so, so popular. I personally think that both of those are a little in your face and a little casual to me for everyday wear. Um, I mean, sorry, a little casual for like work wear, which is what I tend to invest more in than casual wear. So for me, those ones are not my favorite, but people absolutely love them. And if that's your style and that's what you wear every day, awesome. But for me, I wear more work wear and I just don't love those as much. This one I absolutely adore though. So this video is going to be a lot of Ferragamo because that's my favorite. That's what I love and that's what I use because I find it so classy and beautiful. So this clasp is not really in your face. If you don't know Ferragamo, you may not know what this is. It just kind of looks like a nice belt buckle. I love this belt particularly. It's my favorite because it's reversible black and white so I can wear it all the time. It matches a ton of different things and I usually dress up dresses or sometimes skirts. I could wear it right now. I'm wearing a high-waisted skirt so... I could put that on right now if I wanted to sort of dress up that outfit and I just love it. I think it really brings a full outfit together. It makes everything look luxurious and it's a nice piece to have. So a belt is definitely what I think you should invest in maybe for number two. It's definitely a great, a great investment for a luxury good. So my third choice is a coat. 
A coat is something you're gonna wear all the time. You can wear for many, many, many years. And the kind of coat really depends on your personality. So I sort of was thinking either a leather coat or a trench coat. And I'll tell you, I'll show you some examples and what I love the best. So my favorite trench coat is my Burberry Classic Vintage Trench. I absolutely adore this coat. I wear it all the time and every single time I put it on, I feel really luxurious and wonderful. It looks really flattering on me and I just, I feel like a million bucks. I just absolutely love it. So this is such a great classic. It, I will wear it for the rest of my life. It is, it is a total classic and something definitely worth the investment. Again, you can find all of these things on the pre-loved market as well. If leather goods are more of your style and leather jackets are more of your style, you can go for some leather jackets. I know uh, some of the brands like Balmain and All Saints, there's a ton of brands that have really classic leather jackets you can go for. I actually, so I have one that I would consider luxury a leather jacket, it's St. John. It's actually St. John Sport. It's kind of this goldish color and honestly I haven't worn it yet. I've only had it for a couple months and we kind of missed fall here in the Northeast, but this is, I would probably wear it in the spring, except that I don't know if this color is gonna happen as much because I almost always tend to reach for this one, which is black. This is actually faux leather. So I think for me personally, not having a real leather jacket and investing in a trench is something that works better for my style and something I will use all the time and for many years to come. I think you can get a faux leather jacket that looks great and that this one is by Juju. And so I've got a couple other jackets and I always gravitate towards the black. So really I should probably have the faux leather in the other colors and then a real leather in black. But I just, I don't know. I, I think that if that's your style and you're going to wear that all the time, then that's absolutely a great investment. But for me, definitely the trench is a better, a better investment in terms of coats because that's just my style so definitely something to keep in mind but a coat is a great great way to bring a whole outfit together and also if you pick something classic you can wear yours to yours it kind of fits both of those parameters so a really excellent luxury choice the fourth option is a handbag so obviously depending on your lifestyle you're gonna pick a handbag that works best for you if you wear the same kind of casual bag every day then great that might be the best place to start but I think if you're gonna invest in something, you wanna do a classic, you don't wanna do something trendy, and you wanna do something that is gonna stand the test of time. And um, I like to think personally, when I dress up for like a special occasion or I go out on a date or whatever, that is when I really wanna kind of dress everything up and feel luxurious. So I think an evening bag is the best place to go. This is a Chanel Mini, I absolutely adore it. This is an excellent investment piece but it is very pricey. So uh, you can also do something like this. Ooh, falling out of my hands. This is the Ferragamo Miss Vera Clutch and you can get this in a ton of different colors, whatever works best for you. This is my most used casual bag. I have a black bag and I would use this in black, I think as well, but I love the off-white color. And then this one for special occasions. So they're very, very different price points and definitely something to keep in mind. If you have a bag though that you like your heart has been set on forever and you want to start with that bag as your luxury bag, then go for that if you absolutely love it. But if you're not sure where to start, I think a special occasion bag is a, a small evening special occasion kind of bag is a really great choice because you can wear it again and again and again. And every time you wear it for those events and you have pictures about them and you have memories about them, it'll be exciting that you had that bag. So that is the handbag I suggest, but know your lifestyle and know which one works for you. So the last category I chose was shoes. I think a lot of people don't like luxury shoes because you're, they're touching the ground, you're kind of wearing them down over time, but I think that shoes really dress up an outfit and I, shoes are my first luxury love, my original luxury love. I love shoes. I'm gonna do a shoe collection soon because I just love them and I want to talk about them and review them and show you my style of shoes. So I am going to do one, but I just, I think shoes are really great. You can wear them with a ton of different things. You can dress them up, but do know your lifestyle. So I'm first going to show you boots and then I'm going to show you heels because those are my two favorites. I know a lot of people say like a pair of Chanel ballet ballerina flats are a great way to go or Ferragamo flats. I'm not really a flats person. So for me, that's less of a good investment. I only wear those a few times. I wear boots and heels all the time. So I'm gonna show you boots and heels first, ones that I recommend that I think you can wear with a ton of different outfits and that are just wonderful. So 
Again, you've probably seen most of these on my channel before. These are the Stuart Weitzman 50-50 boots and also the Highland boots. These are really beautiful as well, knowing what you tend to wear. So I wear the 50-50s all the time as casual boots. They are by far my most comfortable casual boot. I just love them. And then anytime I want to dress up for a special occasion and it's appropriate to be in suede and high boots, then these are the ones that I love and love to dress up. So these two are pricey. They are wonderful. They're super trendy right now, but they've also been around for a few years and I think they're going to be around for a while more because they're beautifully made and they, as, as tall as they are, whatever, they are still very classic. They're not super in your face. They're not super duper trendy except for the height of them. So I think that they are an excellent investment piece. If high boots are not really your thing though, I've got a couple pairs of ankle boots. I don't know if rag and bone counts as luxury, but all of my ankle boots, um, besides for these, are rag and bone. So <laughs> these I think are, they're really comfortable. They're classic height. I can wear them casually. So if this is your kind of thing, then I absolutely suggest these. I have to look up exactly which kind they are, um, but I will link everything down below. So. These kind of boots I think are great. And then if you want something that's a little bit more special, um, you don't want something that's as much of an everyday boot than something like these. These are the Pistolero boots by Stuart Weitzman. These might be a great option because the zippers are really fun. The heel is high. They are really great boots. Um, but for me, these are more of an occasion boot. They're not really an everyday boot. So if that's what you're looking for in your shoes, then go for that. But for me, I would rather go for um, sort of everyday boots that I'll use all the time. And now I will show you some heels. So when I do show you my shoe collection, you'll notice that about a third of it are, are black shoes. I wear black the most. I absolutely love it. I think it's classic. You can wear it over and over and over again. So a pair of black heels. I personally love a pointed toe. I like this height. These are Stuart Weitzman. They are very worn as you can see, but I wear these all the time for work um, and so I love them and they're ones that I would definitely suggest. Classic kind of plain pairs like that. You also can dress up a little bit more for a special occasion. These Gucci ones are vintage so I, I won't be able to link them down below, but they're a really beautiful cut. They're a little bit more formal and fancy though you could also wear them casually, not casually, but for work they would be fine for that as well, but probably a little more formal and for you could wear them more easily, I guess, uh, for a special occasion than you would those Stuart Weitzmans. And then if you want like a lower heel option that is more classic and comfortable for everyday wear, something like these Ferragamos would be great, but because they have this cap toe um, patent section, then they might even work really nicely to dress up if you wanted to dress them up for an outfit. So obviously loving black and then if suede is more of your thing or you love a different color uh, these vintage manolos are uh, ones that i really love because they come up a little higher on your foot so they're a little easier to wear all year round and for some different occasions so those are some of the shoes again you can find most of these kinds of shoes on the pre-loved market maybe not the exact one but they're definitely shoes that I recommend and I love shoes. So those are some of my most worn and ones that I would definitely buy again and suggest, but those are just me. If you're a flats person, if you're a sandals person, depending on where you live and what you like to wear, you can pick the kind that works best for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it gave you some good ideas about where to start. If you want me to sort of go through some of like my favorite eBay sellers that I use, or um, I also buy a lot on Posh or TradeZ, Fashion File, The Real Real. There's a ton of different sites that you can buy pre-loved if you want, but these categories work across the retail market too, if you're interested in buying something retail. So I hope it was helpful. If you liked the, the video, please give it a like, uh, a thumbs up, and subscribe to see future videos. I will be doing that luxury shoe collection soon if that's what you wanna see. And I hope to see you in my future videos. Have a wonderful day. Bye.